Today we're going to talk about factors, and the factors are the numbers in um, a number model when you multiply them together that equal a product, the answer to a multiplication problem. So if we had a problem like this in the number model, 2 times 3 times 3. It doesn't have to be just 2, it can be 2 or more. 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 is 18. So we'd have 2 is a factor, 3 is a factor, this 3 is a factor, and 18 is the product. The number is being multiplied together, the factors, the answer you get is the product. Often times this year when we're working on factors, you'll be asked to find a factor pair, and that's two factors of a counting number, n, so any number whose product equals that same number of n. So in order to find those, um, in order to find the factor pairs, there's a number of, of different things that you can do. So let's say we want to find the factor pairs for the number 10. Ah, uh, let's not use 10. Let's use the number um, 6. That's a, kind of the same one we used yesterday, but it's an easy one to work with. So, to start, we could make um, rectangular arrays. So we could have one row of 6 with the number model be 1 times 6. We could have 6 rows times one column, so it would be 6 times 1. We could have two rows, or excuse me, three rows and um, two columns, so that would be 3 times 2. And we could also have three columns or excuse me, two rows and three columns, which would be two times three. So if we look at all of our numbers here, the factor pairs of six are one and six and, and two and three. You don't write down both of them because they, it's the same way. And remember we talked about the turnaround rule, the commutative property where it doesn't matter what order they go in. So there's different ways that you can um, represent this, and the one that I like to use the best is, um, I call it a factor T. One times six is six, and two times three is six. And I like to, to go in order, putting this smaller number on the bottom. Um, another way that, that you can do this is you can do a factor rainbow so you'd have one times six and two times three for for a factor rainbow any way of doing this works um, the fact the rectangular arrays is the most time consuming. If you're not sure, this would be a good thing to do. If you if you're pretty sure, you could use one of these two methods. Like I said, the the factor T is the one that I like to use the best, just because it's a little bit easier um, to to write on your paper, a little bit easier to keep keep in track or keep track of. So let's do. Uh, one more example, and let's do 20. Now, I'm not going to do the factor or the rectangular arrays for this. Um, 20 is kind of a big number to do that with. So, starting off, 1 times 20 is a factor pair of 20. 2 and 10. 3 doesn't work. So, then we go to 4 times 5. 
And this is a good clue here, four and five. As long as you keep in order, one, two, three doesn't work, you get to four. The next number is five, so then you know you have all of the factor pairs for 20. And um, again, you could do the factor rainbows, one, two, four, five, 10, and 20. You can connect those. You don't have to use different colors, but it's kind of easy for me to do that. So, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, and then 4 and 5. And I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to do 16 this time. So I start, I've got 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 3 doesn't work, 4 and 4. Now on a factor, on a, when I do the factor T, I do put both numbers there, 4 and 4. But when I go to make the factor rainbow, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16, I only include one. So when we're talking about the factors of a number, you don't list the same number twice. You only list it, list it once. Um, the reason I do that for the factor T's, sometimes for division problems, if you have the, the factor T's, it helps to think about it. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Uh, so then if we connect those, 1 and 16... Two and eight, and then for the single, um, for the single digit one, just put a little one over the same top. So, those are the factors. Factors are the numbers that are multiplied together when you when you're finding a product, and they're the also um, what we call when we're looking for factor pairs, the two numbers that that multiply together. So, there's there's your factors. If you have any questions, make sure. You let me know, and see you next time. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to point out with uh, finding factors. Like you can do the rectangular arrays, T-chart, factor rainbows, but if you're not sure of any of this, you can always go to your multiplication chart, and sometimes the numbers are a little bit, um, are, are too big, but if you're able to find a, a bigger multiplication chart, it can help. So let's say for 12, if you wanted to find the factors of 12, you're just going to go in and find um, the numbers that, when you multiply them together, equal 12. So we've got the 1 is here, and here's the number 12. So 12 and 1. 1 is going to be a factor of, of every number. So that one... You know, you should be able to get that one every time. One and the number is always a factor. And then we can go to two. So there's a, goes out to 12, up to six. Two and six. Then we go down to three. Three follows out, goes to 12, up to four. Three and four. So we've got our, our, situation here, 3 goes to 4 so that we know we're done. So you can also use the multiplication chart to help you find factors.